All right, let's try a different channel on our soundtrack. And let's get stuck into some more power washing. Oh, it's the mayor. Of course it is. I need you to clean my sorry golf cart. I swear I saw my cat on the golf course frolicking on the lily pads in the lake by the 13th. Sound of the brakes went tumbling down the slope head over tail. Don't worry, docs have given me the all clear. Said they'd never seen anyone recover from such a minor incident in so little time. The cart needs a hose down. Hose down or a hoe down? Cool, well, let's get started. So, basic washer only. We're pretty much achieving that by virtue of just not buying anything else. And I need to remember that I need to stand back a little bit more. Oh, come on, let me jump. There we go. Roof. This will be a very quick job because it's a golf cart. It's not big. We're already at one star. Ding. First ding. First ding. First mud. Let's get right down. Two stars already. I remember doing the challenge for this one previously. Because it's just so easy to just waste a, t oops, a ton of water. Now it took me ages, I think, to finally get a gold medal on the water challenge, especially. I think the the time challenge wasn't so bad. Though you still need to be careful to actually clear away all of the elements. Like the steering column is actually kind of annoying. Just kind of work your way down and around. And you just get a bunch of dings like that, like that, you know, like that. It's like that, and that's the way it is, as they say. And now I just have bumper. Is this the bumper? I've got this seat mounting. There's the seat cushion. Oh, this is the mounting. What's still dirty on this? Now, which one's the bumper? Ah, there we go. Is this the bumper? Ah, it's right there. There we go. Sorted. Very easy. Cool. Quickest job yet. <laughs> Barely deserves a credit. It's kind of disappointing that it's that easy. I don't know. I don't know what else you could do with it. But, I mean, a hundred bucks just for three minutes work. Hey, I'll take it. You know, <laughs> considering the playground was like two hours for 600. And this is 650, and it's going to be similar. So, yeah. Super weird, creepy sign on the outside house. It's nothing to worry about. No, it's called graffiti. There's actually an achievement for this map, which is to clean the driveway and path first. I think it includes the edges as well. It's so close. Ah, there we go. It's because of the, the angle, getting the edge correct. Just had to edge it correctly. I believe I cannot get away with doing this with the green washer. Try. Maybe I can. I hope I can. Because that's a slightly wider channel. Yeah, that seems to work. Maybe. Wait, it looks clean enough. I don't know what I'm missing on the edge though. There we go. Just a little bit. A little bit of cleanup. 
do need to be careful to still get maintain an overlap. We've already got the achievement for doing this first before anything else, but it's a nice way to start anyway. Looks nice on the time lapse. Fairly sure the time lapse is from this side. I actually can't remember. It might be from the other side, and I might be completely wrong. I'm actually going to do some back and forth. Hmm, that, that's actually a bit ugly. It's like the theme from a 70s TV show or something. It's kind of cool. probably enable it actually to post and chat the names of the artists and stuff again. I have it turned off because I actually got the pro version or whatever it's called of Pretzel because I use it enough and I really enjoy a lot of the music that's on there enough that I'm more than happy to pay a little bit. It's not a huge amount. I figure exactly how much it is per month but it, it didn't seem unreasonable for the amount of use that I habitually get out of it, both playing this, uh, playing Truck Simulator, any game that doesn't have its own in-game music, basically. It's actually really quite useful to um, have on just while I'm working as well. Uh, unfortunately, because for videos like this, I have it on instrumental only, and YouTube safe mode. There are filters. It means a lot of playlists get severely cut down and it doesn't tell you how much buy when you first load them up. So this song is already a repeat. <laughs> There's only two in this playlist. The The Lounge playlist turns out only has a couple of tunes that are safe for YouTube or instrumental. So, I guess we'll try a different one. Give me a second. Stations. What else have we got? Um, feeling lucky, maybe. House grooves. We'll try house grooves. We'll see if we've got any at all. This might be too upbeat for the vibe that I usually go for. We'll give it a try. And then what's playing, I'm going to put back on for the sake of anyone in the chat that comes by. If you'd rather just listen to the gameplay and have the noise of the washer, then I apologize. Some of my earlier videos might have that. But I find just the steady stream of the water from the washer drives me slightly insane because it's practically just the entire map is just that noise and it's kind of like tinnitus after a while. It's just this, you just think that you're hearing the noise even after it's stopped. So I prefer to have a bit of musical background. And unfortunately they didn't have any in-game soundtrack, it's not like House Flipper where they actually have a bit of a sort of chill jazz in the background. Which I think they did a pretty good job on, I kind of wish that the developers of this might have kind of got in touch with whoever did the music for House Flipper because yeah they actually did a pretty good job of that, like it repeats throughout the maps after a while but it's not so much that you notice and even if you do notice you kind of don't mind okay that was extremely generous you kind of don't mind because it's just it's good music <laughs> it's just good music prompt it's just the classic like good video game music thing of you notice it more when it's not there in some respects and when it is there even if it repeats. It's just kind of there in the background. It shouldn't stand out too much. If it stands out too much and you notice it being repetitive, then 
it's not understood what its role is <laughs> as music in a video game. I quite liked how they did things in World of Warcraft where it would be a common theme for a zone and then they'd have multiple iterations of it. So it would be slightly different over multiple plays and the full cycle would be like 20-30 minutes long and you were rarely spending that much time in a single zone, certainly sub-zone and different parts would have different themes within a zone. I think that's kind of how it works with House Flipper as well. I feel that different theme maps tend to have different, like kind of a different playlist almost. And I feel that it needs to be similar to this, but if, if there was a way. I'm going to let this song finish. That was also very generous. But then I think I'm going to try and find something that's a bit more laid back. This would be a good one for Truck Simulator. More than for this. The green nozzle is really not working on this brickwork. Yeah, whereas the, the yellow just demolishes it. Cool. Now we should actually go up. I usually prefer to work down. We're going to see if we can get up without using the ladder, because that's more fun to me. Oh, we're kind of on the terrain. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No. Ah. We managed to get on the little kind of lip there. No. We might need to use a ladder. Ooh. It's fine. I'm not doing a, a no ladder playthrough. I'm doing a basic washer challenge. I'm not doing a no ladder challenge. Because I, I honestly don't think that would actually be possible on some of these. And eh, maybe it would. I'm sure there's some random terrain glitch things that you can do. But at the same time, I don't know. it's the sort of thing that could then get patched out anyway. This lichen on the roof is pretty tenacious. Lichen on the roof sounds like a great prog rock album name, incidentally. Kind of need to go over things a little bit slower. I seem to remember that in my first playthrough, because there wasn't cosmetics or anything to buy, which I've clearly bought in this already because my washer has a different skin, and I've gotten more extensions as well. I think this was the map that I got the heavy duty sprayer <laughs> so this is where my resolve to finish all the maps using only the starting washer will be severely tested from this point on <laughs> because from this point on in the early access playthrough I was using at least the heavy duty washer and then by the time I got to I believe the ferris wheel was when that introduced the pro washer and i had earned enough to buy that so yeah those are the those are the points to look out for pretty much i think a lot of it just came down to some really tenacious stains things like that lichen yeah like it and some of the stuff on the veranda around the back of this it's got some really baked on stuff that just does not want to shift easily but i do have a bit more of an affinity with the turbo nozzle nowadays than i did at the time in fact when i was first playing this in early access i'm not sure if the turbo nozzle was there it might have been but i'm not sure i fully understood its potential time
because the turbo nozzle blasts most things especially if you also fit an extension if you're just a little bit further away from something it does a pretty good job so it's basically like the red nozzle but does cover just a little bit more of an area gets a little bit more coverage it's a, a bit more forgiving I'm going to give this playlist a little bit more of a chance. Okay, no, that's already sounding very similar to the last. <sighs> Never mind. I mean, we'll see how much there is on the Chill Jazz playlist. Because that suits this vibe a lot better. Kind of just don't even know what I feel like listening to at this point. When I've been watching Saruti play this, he's had like metal and rock on, which also works. But it's not quite how I'm feeling at the moment. Some of the stuff, the green would probably deal with. I feel those walls cleaned quite easily. And we're able to actually go back and forth over this non-lichen part of the roof pretty well. It's pretty much just the lichen, I think, that really needs the, the TLC of the yellow. Or just to move really slow over it. it. Even moving really slow over it is in fact not working properly. <laughs> so, yellow it is. If we really need to, then there is the turbo. I wish I could reset the ladder to its starting spot on the ground instead of it perpetually being up here because the most you can do is move it to a different spot now but that's fine it doesn't show up on the time lapse at the end anyway and get this from this side and then we'll have to get probably from the other side Clear it out, that's fine. Let's just get all the stuff on this angle. Not sure how best to get the stuff from the top. I mean, I can just jump. I can also just fire down from the bit of the house behind me. I might even need to pull the ladder up and use that to get up here. No, I can just jump on an angle. What am I talking about? Easy. <laughs> Once again, the rest of the neighborhoods just look a little bit too pristine. It would be nice if the others had just... Just a touch of smearing on them and just didn't look quite so cookie cutter. How much of this is the actual chimney top. Oh, I need to do underneath as well, do I? That would explain it. There we go. I heard a strange sigh-like sound. Spooky. Yeah, these people are fixated on the paranormal to their detriment. Be the sound of air escaping the cushions as you sat on the couch. I can guarantee it right now. Interesting these uh, uh, don't seem to have artists associated with them. We had the Memory of Water, I think it was. Now we have the Last Day of Summer. But it's not credited to anyone. The Memory of Water seemed very appropriate to start on for this game. <laughs> I'm 
trying to remember to just keep my shoulders loose. When I'm playing games, I have a really bad habit of getting very tense across my shoulders. I mean, especially if I'm doing something like a speedrun, for example. But even this, I'm just finding myself just kind of focusing too much. Just need to loosen up. I think maybe we just do this by halves, essentially. The lichen at the edge is what needs the closest attention, so we'll clear that. And now we work our way back like this. We could also actually use the aim mode from above. I think that's what we did on the previous roof, in fact. So if we just do it like this. Less just kind of over usage of the movement. Like the view just rocking back and forth. I also need to remember to engage the auto spray more so I'm not just pressing down with left click the whole time because that's not doing wonders for my tendons that's for sure. And the last thing I need to do is to have to take another break from actually playing games and enjoying myself for the sake of being able to continue my paid work. <laughs> so I have had to do that before when I've had pains crop up. It's not a pleasant feeling not, not being able to do what you want in your like personal time in order to kind of sustain your professional job. I mean it's always a toss up of that really isn't it in life? Let's be honest, just in terms of the amount of mental and physical energy you may have. But when it comes down to like not injuring yourself because you're otherwise just straining yourself too much in two different places, not great. And I mean, if you're in a position where you're having to make that sort of choice, it just shows that you you need to examine how you're doing things and yeah, loosen up, do some stretches, take advantage of whatever quality of life mechanics there may be. I have wondered about whether or not it would be better or worse to play this game with a controller instead of mouse and keyboard. I'm not sure whether or not you can, but I assume you probably can. But I have not tried. But I feel the aim precision isn't quite as nice. If I was using a controller. Yeah, there's no aim assist as such like there is for FPSs. <laughs> Because this is an FPS, it's a first person squirter. First of its kind. The other thing I need, do need to remember is that a lot of these features are really generous. Like this roof is a very large element, which means that it's going to just go ding at a certain point um, without me getting every single last little bit. At least we hope it'll do that. So why was this song not on the lounge playlist? Because I feel it should have been. But I don't recognize the name. Unless it was. Oops. Maybe it was and I just didn't pay attention. This is where I want to fire across at this I think. I actually wanted to do it from above. There's also the gutter. 
And then I'm going to want to equip a... What is it for the... No, I don't want cleaning liquids or nozzles. There we go. Extensions. Even that isn't really getting it. Mm. That's concerning. And that's where the turbo comes in, I guess. I think for the gutter we can probably get up close and personal a bit more. Also there'll be more from the top side that I have to do anyway, and on the outside too, it looks like. Alright. So I probably don't need the attachment as such. Oh, it can't hurt to do this stuff. on this sort of an angle so that way I can actually get a good downward spray. So that fascia goes all the way along looks like. Interesting. And this is where I go back to the stubby gun because I'm right underneath it anyway. Ah, no, I fell. Fine, up we come. Window frame, more of the fascia. Does the fascia go all the way around or something? It must do, because I'm barely making a dent in the amount that I have to clean on this. And I feel I should be having a little bit more impact. So once again, they could have done a bit more to break down dingable features. Oh well. I have to get that gutter from the other side. No, we're not. Okay, it was just that's this side. Not doing this quite as methodically as we perhaps could. We'll go back up to the roof shortly, I think. That wall is the same as that wall. Yep. Even though it looks like it's broken up, it's actually the same. Oh well. Okay, yeah, so this part of the roof is done. We can kind of get an angle in there from here. But it's not great. And it's not going to be good from the other side. Oh well. Not my problem right now. For now, let's go back to doing the roof. interesting to see how long this job takes stacked up against the playground so I feel the playground they made a lot more changes to to make many of the features just much more dirt caked so I went back and took a look at my original early access video for that map and compared it to what I did recently post full release and the differences are very clear, especially in terms of the ground. Just, yes, they broke it down into smaller sections, but they also made the rest of it so much dirtier. So there's just so much more to have to do. The tune of this reminds me of something else. 
but I can't think what. It feels like an instrumental version of a pop song. Well, if I get copyright struck from it, then I'll know why and you won't hear it because this will be muted. <laughs> or cut out. Let's go back to the top here. I've also twisted a bit and I didn't want to. Not when using aim mode. Another one without an artist credit. At least an obvious one. There's like a scribble on the picture that I get to see, which I assume is the album cover. House isn't actually too big, really. Could certainly be much worse. Gonna have a hell of a time doing some of the later math. The subway is gonna be tough and arduous, to say the least. But hey, that's the whole point of this. Would not be calling it a challenge if we didn't think it was going to test us in some way. Even if it's just testing my patience. And that of anyone else watching. Okay, that was very forgiving. I suppose I should be glad that it wasn't this section and the bit below me in the same definition. I do appreciate how I can basically stand in the air. Oh, that's the inside of the gutter, pretty clean. Guess we'll do this roof now, to be consistent. Nice piece of this crystal clear by unknown Einaudiesk. Alright, strip one done of the back roof. This little bit here. There off the top. Make sure I'm getting underneath the cap. Center myself here.
Just back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> There's not much more to it than this. At what point is it just going to give it to me? That's what I'm curious about. Unless there's another bit that I've missed. This is just the garage roof though. Yeah, it's getting pretty close now. Apparently not close enough though. So I wonder what more it wants from me for this. Oh, probably just the sides, eh? Oopsies. Oh, and I've fallen into the backyard. Okay. Okay. There's the fascia still. And yeah, the underside of the roof. I don't know why the fascia keeps getting in the way when I'm just doing this particular angle. Did you hear that weird rumbling noise? No, because all I can hear is my pressure washer. <laughs> Jerry put the washer on spill. That would also do it. Whichever type of washer. Might as well just clean as much of this roof as we can. That marking is that graffiti is not coming off with this. That's concerning. Turbo time. There we go. Window frame I'm gonna guess is just on the other side. The window itself is probably from the top. That's going to be hard to get. We can just move back a bit. There we go. Far enough away that even the graffiti is not really being shifted, even with the turbo. Ooh, okay. That's tricky. I can put a ladder on the side of the house. What am I talking about? I'm making it sound like it's really hard or impossible or something. I can just do this. <laughs> I can just do this. Why am I making it so difficult for myself? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still difficult because that graffiti is baked on. But we can now get close enough that Turbo just deals with it. And let's just stick that around there again. Uh, we'll do long extension again. And we'll just work our way down for this particular half. This actually isn't too bad in terms of how easy it is to take off at least. Probably get away with the green one. You could also get away with the stubby at this point probably. Okay, yeah, we, we need to get real close to that paint. Get close or turbo? One of the two. Well, turbo does the trick. There we go. Mostly gone anyway. I think I probably need to crouch down to get underneath that bit there. Ooh, 
Hm? They must continue around the side. Or alternatively on this side. We go fairly quickly wafting over this it seems, once we've got the extension on. So I'm not sure what the rest of the roof is, maybe a bit behind where the gutter is. Once again, trying to work in how to do the aim mode nicely. And just get really generous with how it gives it to me too. That works. Didn't need to do the underside of the wooden trim after all. These bricks are probably going to similarly go soon. Yup. Cool. And yet the roof is not. I guess it's this underside bit here. And on the other side too, obviously. Some more fascia. Need to do the wall up there too, actually. Turbo time. Probably don't even need to worry about it, to be honest. I wonder if it would just complete it for me anyway. Given how generous it's been with outstanding bits, I could probably just leave the graffiti to last and it would still work. I think they end up figuring out that the graffiti that they think is like angelic language is actually just architectural markings on the house. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, it's kind of flattering when it does a big ding clear like that, because it means that I've been thorough. Okay. I've actually got my drink on the wrong side for this one. We've missed a couple of little bits up there, which low-key bothers me, <laughs> but I do also know, or I'm fairly confident, that it won't matter, just because of how their generous algorithm works. E.g. <laughs> The aim mode certainly makes a big difference for the sake of elbows, wrists and shoulders. Still have to wave it around a lot though. Okay, we need to do the, you know what, let's just do this bit here. I would normally top down specifically but we're here let's just get rid of this we're gonna have to go up and do the rest of the top anyway this is where we need to start using the turbo nozzle just for some of this stuff or um soap would be the other but i'd rather not use soap i don't think it's necessary
Yeah, I can't target the right bit from the angle I'm on. And this is where you need the turbo nozzle. Now let's worry less about that cleanliness right now because we need to come back around here and clear out this gutter. And it seems also a bit of roof. I don't know if it's just like underneath here, the other side of this gutter. I feel it might be, to be honest. Is it just under here? Everything else has been so... Oh, there's the fascia. Everything else has been so generous. I'm just not sure where the garage roof bit. Uh, why is it not letting me climb this? There we go. Oh. <laughs> I think I found the bit of garage roof that it wanted me to clean, guys. Can, can you see where it is? Can you see the filthy roof? See. There was so much that I didn't need to do. Just because of it. This gutter is nearly done, but I haven't actually done the downpipe. So I'm really sure that's all that it really needs. I'm overthinking a lot of the stuff it turns out. <laughs> I know back to the memory of water on this playlist. That honestly might be fine. Uh, it's been a few tracks. Doesn't need to be like no repeat work day. I'm just gonna jump a bit to clear off some of this stuff. There you go. Is this wall the same as on the side? It is. Which means that I probably don't have to worry about the nitty gritty of yeah, of the front because it just gives it to me like that. And there's the trim even. Again, it feels almost bad that it gives me that. Almost. You get like underneath that fascia board, I think. But yeah, with how generous it is with the features, it's like if you're struggling to find where a, the last little bit of something is, it's probably because you've missed a big section like that before, because otherwise it would have definitely given it to me. fascia for example we're only half done and that'll be because it wants the other side done as well I'm fairly confident so makes sense the wall on the other hand i think is probably just the other side oops that's not what i wanted to do uh where am i i'm on top of this roof that's why i was thinking guys should be lower than that Trim bits. Okay. And now once again the rest of the wall will be this bit here, which makes perfect sense. <laughs> so I shouldn't waste too much time trying to tidy up tiny little bits when there's so much more to have to do.
We're over halfway, interestingly. 53% already. So I think they might have overdone it on some of the changes to the playground, because they did make it much more difficult to clean in terms of the overall requirement. But I'm not sure they changed the reward. Okay, this wall is still not 100% done, and I'm going to guess that I'm missing a bit over the side. Yep, the bottom. There you go. <laughs> Once again, if you're missing a large chunk like that, you've probably missed a big bit. Kind of just feeling like finishing off the garage at this point. I kind of need to shoot down on top of the garage door section. That'll be in behind the gutter. Speaking of, there's the gutter. And yep, there is bits in behind. There's the bricks. The wooden trim. That'll be the top of the wooden trim, probably. Well, that's the wall. That's the problem with ladders. They get in the way when you're trying to shoot from them. There's the trim. I think we just do this and a mode it. Do it half by half. Do right to left. Why not? See whether or not we even need to get rid of that graffiti or if it just disappears when we finish this section. Yeah, didn't even need to worry about it specifically. Cool. Well that that's handy. Let's this gutter off. And then there's the fascia underneath, which I think wraps around the side as well. Actually, no, probably doesn't, looking at how quickly it's going down, actually, at this point. I think it's all good. Maybe? Maybe not. Uh, we should also do this a bit. I really wish I could change my the hand that my washer was held in doesn't seem unreasonable to just swap to my left hand every now and then maybe some people are left-handed right oh maybe there is an option in the settings <laughs> i can't remember don't need my glasses on just noticed how much the pressing on the bridge of my nose is just giving me a headache That gutter is nearly done, and it'll be the downpipe. Wooden trim, we just need to breathe on, and it's finished. Fascia would be around the side, I think. Clean this bit of the wall. Gonna need to do both sides of this, really. Yeah. There's the window. Window frame. And the middle section of the wall.
Windows. Yeah. Window frame, just again, breathe on it and it works. Wooden trim we've got to do from the other side. Okay, now the roof. This is apparently the porch. This doesn't feel like it should be the porch. Also, I am not lifting some of these stains, even being this close up with the yellow, so that's gonna need some turbo action. Or, more likely, I probably just don't need to actually clean all of this. Maybe the pro strat is to not try cleaning it all now, clean the rest, and then we'll figure out what we need. If we need to come back up here and do it, then so be it. At least we'll know, but it's been pretty generous. I suspect that the underside is a whole panel that also relates to the same thing. Got a real doozy for you when you spear mode at the recreational grounds. Which one was that? Recreation grounds. I need some help with my poor little place. Well, once again we're at three stars and the new jobs are coming in. I think two stars there should have been. One and then three stars a different one. Careful how you go around the volcano. Sorry? I don't intend to go around a volcano. I know that the volcano becomes pivotal. So a UFO pop out the top and disappear before you could say, look, a UFO, where? Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you did. It was probably Blake Thrust in his uh, special airplane which we will come to later. Hmm. I mean, we're almost halfway done with this porch feature. Why porch roof is not separate, I do not understand, but it is not, so that's fine. <laughs> Seems we don't have a shadow as well, which is interesting. Don't know if that's just a graphical setting that I have disabled. Clear off the worst of this stuff. Right, wall's done, fascia is not done, but that's because we need to do this side. We don't get the extra long yet, do we? Whoa, okay, I did not mean to press E. Uh, shop is escape. Shop, equipment, the extra long nozzle. I think only unlocks later. Because originally it unlocked when you unlocked the mayor's house, and I suspect that is still the case. Can I get all the way to the top with the turbo nozzle? Yes. Mm, but it's not really cleaning it properly. Right, well, where did I put my ladder? Around here. That is why we have a ladder. We can kind of get a good angle. We might just need to go the other side as well. But also, it'll probably be forgiving enough that it won't matter. Okay, once again, let's just put on aim mode so we're not twisting awkwardly. The nozzle will still probably twist awkwardly, but it becomes easier to anticipate what it's going to do. I'm going to guess this is because I would need to be on the other side. 
Seems certain stages of filth just don't get shifted by anything other than a red or turbo nozzle. Because the stuff, I'm close enough and I'm using the long extension even though I'm really close. Barely sure this graffiti should have been cleared off. It's getting warm in here. It's getting hot in here. Uh, let's just move you around. I'm sure, there just gets it out of the way. Okay. I need to stand reasonably close to it first to clear off this bit. But then I should start being able to back away a bit more. There's the trim we're doing. And I should probably do a bit more of the chimney here now. I was probably going to need the... Uh, the ladder on this side, this other side anyway, actually. Oh, well, whatever. We can look side on at that one. We'll do the actual wall first. Basically just doing it plank by plank. I could probably get away with the green one at this point, but just in case. Wooden trim will need the other side, I assume. There we go. Guessing these will just go all the way around to the front as well, so we're not going to get the ding on that just yet. I have a feeling actually maybe the time lapse goes from behind, which would be kind of awkward. Whatever. This is where it gets tougher because there's these mold stains that only come off with I think soap or turbo. So I've got the long extension on and they're still not coming off. But again we should first work out do we even need them cleaned? because it might just give us the ding anyway. It's always mesmerizing doing this. Dot matrix intensifies. You know, back when we actually printed things physically. Oh, there's the wooden trim. Alright, and we need to do the other side as well. We're just going to lie down for this. Oh, okay. Okay, game. I kind of wonder how much I fixated on trying to get every little bit clean even in my first attempt only to have it give huge amounts to me based on 
using like turbo nozzle and stuff. But how much it just didn't need it. <laughs> okay, post and railing are definitely different pieces though. And this post is wanting me to do a lot more. And I've already done this side, so yes, turbo will be required for that. And it fills every individual bits of this. But I think it makes perfect sense to go over them once first in the normal nozzle here. And then go the other side and then see what we still need to get. I don't need the uh, nozzle on now, do I? Because we're kind of at the point that either the yellow will shift it or it just won't. And if it won't, it won't whatever nozzle I have on it. I just struggle to understand how some of the uh, angles are working for the the shooting of the water against these railings. Okay, so the outside of this post hasn't been done at all. And now you have a lot of mold issues to resolve. Right, turbo nozzle time. Because it seems to be necessary on this bit. Why does it think that's the wall and not the post? How bizarre. Well, there's the post cleaned. So we got there. Not sure how much the railing needs done actually little bits in behind here that aren't even needing the turbo to deal with but I've just kind of forgot oh there's this whole bit along here I don't need the turbo at all probably yeah exactly this might need a bit more this post reckons there is a lot still to clean on it so I have to assume it's all this moldy stuff. Yep, pretty close now. There we are. Nice. So we can get through it, it just takes a little bit more perseverance using the turbo nozzle. Once again we'll just turbo up here because it should help to splash along the top of the window frame. Big splash of the washer there that would have soap connected to it if we had any, but we do not. Simplest way to avoid wasting money on soap, just don't buy any. Window, window frame, adjacent wall. Some graffiti that can probably be left behind. Especially if it's going to be that generous with things like the window frame.
clear off the door. What am I missing? Everything this direction. There we are. Okay, once again, the post is going to need a little bit of TLC to clear away the mold. This wall will probably disappear very shortly. Just like that. Turbo time on the post. I actually wonder... It'll be a bit right in there, on the other side of that, that will still count. I'm going to assume they probably put some rubbish in there. Okay. So we need to do the other side of this as well, I believe. Yeah, must do. There's too much missing otherwise. I keep wanting to get closer to the bit that I'm trying to work on, and then having the angle just screw up. We can at least get some of this angle from the other side. So that's good. This post is filthy because it hasn't even been touched from the other side. Just get some obvious wins with the turbo nozzle right now. Right here, right now. And then of course the side for the railing. We also need to do the underside of the railing. Uh, we seem to be really close, but... Oh yeah, so we haven't done this side. That would do it. Once again, just get rid of some of the really immediate and obvious bits. Mold. And hopefully this post can complete. Not as smoothly as I had liked. Okay, well. First things first. Let's clear this direction. The underside of the railing. bottom bits as well because that kind of sawn off cut weirdly I even done the top of the railing yes so now it is all just turbo stuff I think ah oh, no we haven't done this side which might also involve some turbo stuff but hey let's get the easy stuff first huh And now it'll be a case of just a little bit of turbo will hopefully go a long way. Clear off this post as best we can. So we're at 76 cleaned. We managed to get to like 50 something cleaned pretty quickly. So like 53. And we're at like 50 minutes, so we're thinking, oh yeah, this, will, this should be good. But it's just getting these last niggly bits with the turbo that takes, there we go, it just takes a lot longer.
Post is close, just not close enough. Yeah, because there's all of this spotting on this side. Well, apparently that's good enough. And we'll clean off these worst railings here. A bit on the outside here as well. Some of the obvious black spots there. There we go, there's our railing done. Cool. Well, that's nice. Now we can do the back porch of this bit here of the house. Do the decking. The porch of the porch. See, to me, the porch is just the bit on the bottom. It doesn't include the canopy. very least I would have expected it to be broken down into porch, porch, see, porch, porch, roof and ceiling. I mean, having the decking separate is good at least. But to me, the porch is the decking. wasting too much time on the turbo bits again that I probably don't need to worry about. So the underside here will also probably count. That's probably part of my problem right now. trim cleared, another wooden trim cleared, I mean that's nice but it's not what I was looking for. Don't mean to be a demi down it looks like the creepy symbols you found on that side of the house you were working on. I found, you found, we all found. Builders diagrams, yeah exactly. That's what I thought. They had nothing special. Where does this bricks end and why am I missing so much? Oh, it'll be down the other side, I guess. It just doesn't recognize the, um, the extra steps in front. Oh, and each of these steps is also porch decking, apparently. Well, that explains that. Why are these not porch steps? Be my question. Yeah, there we go. Ding! Just all of the steps all at once. Uh, drop down a bit to get a slightly better angle underneath things for these bricks. Probably go all the way down to get a slightly better angle again. That kind of works. Wooden trim. Bricks for the steps. Bricks for the side. Bricks down this side of the house. Cool. Uh, this wooden trim has more to go. There we are. Is there anything else left on this side? If there is, we'll just worry about that later. Once again, I wish I could just swap hands to left handed briefly. Again, it might be a setting for it, but I just wish there was a hotkey for it. Maybe there is. Again, haven't looked. We can look afterwards. 
And let's just move that there because I don't know if I need it again. Those, there's this wooden trim. And now, let's just do this like so. Oh, okay. Apparently, I did not need to do that much at all. Uh, extremely generous chimney there. It's so generous on the chimney. I don't think I've done the bits down the bottom already. Don't really need the extension on now. There we go. Slide this across. I should probably make sure I actually clean the top of it off properly first. Still a few missing bits. Drop down prone to get underneath. Bricks. Wooden trim is so close. It'll be because I, there we go, hadn't done the top. Then there's that wooden trim. Then there's the top of this veranda roof. sides of the gutters, why not? There's this post here. We probably want to just run up here now. Again, aim mode coming in handy. When I first saw the aim mode announced, I thought that doesn't seem very useful. But it's really quite handy. done. Frame might take a little bit longer because it looks like it has a bunch of mold on it down the bottom. We need to get a good sideways angle as well. Mm. This one's a bit tricky. I say a bit tricky. Turbo nozzle to the rescue, right? A little bit more annoying. This issue doesn't actually show up as being the bit that I've targeted half the time. So close on the frame. Probably just need to do more on the side, actually. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this wall. A bit inconsistent on what has the mold and what doesn't. There's the wall. Window frame from this direction. Window frame from that direction. 
né? Ah, yes. It's the bit. The look. Once again, let's just take it relatively easily. See if I need to do another path over this ceiling bit, my roof bit. Gutter has been reasonably well maintained by this um, this particular nozzle. Actually, clearing a bit of this mold that's here. Or at least we seem to be. Let's get underneath this bit as well. Oh, that's not clearing it at all underneath there. We need the turbo for that. And once again, I really wish I could change my handedness, but instead we can just come over here. There we go. But also, once again, I should really just finish this bit off first. Just standing in mid-air again, as you do. Oh, once again, veranda actually encompasses the underneath as well. Well, let's just make my job underneath a little bit easier and just turbo away some of this mold now, huh? May as well. It's really warm in an office when you've got a big computer running. And the door closed. No other ventilation. It's like four degrees outside. I could crack the window. There we go. That's it's scrappy, but it's not too bad. Now there's lots for us to have to do down the bottom here now. Clear off some of these gutters, but then it'll mostly be the vertical bit that actually matters, I suspect. Column A, bit of column B. Seem it's kind of interesting that that gutter just doesn't seem to actually be draining anywhere in particular. There we go. This whole thing just is veranda. It's not veranda roof on top with the ceiling underneath and the lintel again. Or the, is it the fascia? Yeah, fascia. A little bit lazy. The fact that it doesn't even follow the same model as other parts of the house. We're going to need a lot of turbo action up here, my word. Maybe we don't, because we might just be able to clear away this bit and it'll give it to me anyway. Yep, okay, cool. I'm happy with that. If it's happy, then I'm happy.
Um, as we do doors. Rider is on the storm. That was the doors, wasn't it? Kinda can. I can crouch, but then as soon as I jump, the crouch goes away. I can stand this. Yeah, there we go. I can stand on this bit. And once again, I probably, probably don't need to be a perfectionist on this bit because it will probably be quite forgiving. This post is filthy. This just doesn't need water blasting. That post and others like it need to just be sandblasted really and just stripped and repainted with a anti-bacterial, anti-mold sort of paint surface. I guess we can just do a mode here, just right up close like this. do it pain by pain. It is a bit of a pain, but we don't really get a good enough angle if we back off and do it from behind this railing that's behind me. There we go. Window. Window frame. There we go. I was about to say the window frame should be close behind. The wall. Oh, it's so close. What's missing on the wall then? Ah. This. There we go. Of course. Let's just try and do all of the underhang bits first of these railings with a surface level spray for everything else that particular post Okay, we're going to need a lot more dedicated removal of this mold though now. Probably for both the railing and the post. Certainly the post. There's a ton on the other side too, I'm fairly certain. This is the most tedious part here, that's for sure. So it's with the heavy duty or 
similar. I'm fairly sure it made short work of these bits here. just going to be these posts and stuff that are going to hold us up now, I think. I'll try and clean this one. You just take it easy on the turbo nozzle and just go top to bottom here. There we go. Just have to be patient, basically. And it's probably a bit excessive to do it on every single one of these railing bits. Which really just kind of wait until it fails. Then figure it out. Yeah, you just go over with the... Your basic pass is, is just going over it with the yellow. If that doesn't clear it, then you know you have to go back and try again. This post is just exceedingly moldy for some reason. <laughs> Finally, there we go. Uh, and this railing is actually the same railing the whole way around, I have realized. So, we will just do the initial pass with yellow. Another post here. Well, that one's cleaner at least. Not quite sure why that one's not as moldy as all of the others. But I'm glad for it. I uh, need to somehow, there we go, get this side. Different post, which is as filthy. Side line on it there. Probably going to need just a little bit more TLC here. There we are. Seems to not take too much just to push it over the line once you've done a pretty good due diligence. This railing, we had not done due diligence on this side, that's for damn sure. Okay, well, we've cleared off most of it from the railing perspective. Oh, that's the same railing? Never mind. Do a little bit more this way. Okay, this post, we're not even halfway done, it seems, even though we have covered it over pretty completely. So that means we are really needing to go hard on the turbo nozzle. And also the railing. It's really hard to get a good angle with the turbo based on the targeting. That's the biggest annoyance at the moment.
But this is like the proof concept, right? It's tenacious, it comes off much more easily with the better washes, but it is possible with the basic one. It just takes a lot more time. I think the front side of that probably has more to blame. I don't know if I've done the outside of this post. But minimum, let's just do a good turbo run on the inside. There's a lot left on it, so I'm hoping that's because I need to do the other side still. It is good. There we go, there's the post done. Wooden trim, perfect. Okay. Can do these angles on these posts, including this railing as well. Once again, the angle of the washer is just really is really irritating me. Okay, well. That's the first pass of those done as well, pretty much. Now oh, this side too. I'm barely displaying as having cleaned much on it at all. Yay again, do the railing on the underside here. Alright. This post really needs a good going over. Oh, these targeting angles, so toxic. Well, oh, let's turbo these sides as much as I feasibly feel I should. Is this railing the same as this railing? I think it might be. Once again, just have to be patient with it, really. Just go gradually down here. Almost finished yet? Not quite, apparently. Oh, that'll be why. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I'd done more on that side. I guess not. There we go. That got that post sorted. Oh, apparently all the way. Good. Railing. This is the same as this, I'm fairly certain. Hey, Jacko. Welcome, welcome. We are almost finished this. 97%. And then we will be finishing this. Uh, we will be finishing the stream. It's already pretty late. Still playing Power Sim, you know it. I have set myself a challenge, and that is after early access for full release, I reset my progress to start again, and 
I am trying to, I have kind of resolved to work my way through using only this starting washer, not upgrading at all. It should be theoretically possible, but this map is already demonstrating how much of a chore that's going to be. Just having to painstakingly turbo nozzle some of these bits here. The difference between the different nozzles is quite significant. <laughs> how much is the game? The game was like 30 bucks or something, New Zealand. It's it's pretty cheap. Like considering the amount of hours I've already put into it, it's a bargain in my book. And the different washers are not tab escape. Um, they have a, like a little scale here so the main thing is that the what i'm trying to deal with at the moment is mold on this one which i believe is a stubborn one and yeah that's that's a zero on that one whereas even that immediately has a really good stubborn and that has a heavy and then the professional duty oh by this stage, I'm fairly sure I at least had the urban. I think I'd even managed to save up enough to get that. Um, yeah, because I've got over 2,000. But now they have the star rating lock instead. $30 for this, yikes. Dude, that's a bargain. I tell you. <laughs> it is. It, uh, let, give me a sec. Steam. Um, I've played this for 74 hours. I'd call that a bargain. <laughs> If it's the sort of game that you would enjoy playing, yeah, $35. Um, it'll be on sale. Believe you me, it will be on sale. I think it was already on a 20% sale at launch. Um, you know. Steam sales. You know what Steam sales do. <laughs> but even full price. I think I probably picked it up. It was probably like a 10% discount for early access or something. And yeah worth every cent is it perfect no is any game no there we go railing i mean am i making it intentionally hard for myself yeah <laughs> this railing is a stubborn one it seems so we need to get underneath here That's the price of Subnautica? Yeah. Subnautica is a much shorter game. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not a very good comparison at all. Subnautica you can finish even casually in like 10 hours. This, to go through all of the maps, will take you like 50 hours or something. So yeah, it's a bargain. Like, I, I don't see what there is to even, like, that's just objectively factual. <laughs> But on that note, I have like 1,500 hours in Subnautica because I speedrun it. Um, but, you know, that's a bit different. The soap nozzles, uh, they do uh, a lot. They will clear off stubborn stains a lot more. I'm not using those. <laughs> um, I should categorize this. As, it's basic washer with no soap. Uh, I, I haven't bought... I, I do have the soap nozzle, actually, yeah. Because I was, I was kind of thinking I might use it. Unfortunately, I can't get a refund for it, but I don't have any soap actually equipped. This is just really annoying to get the angle here. One of the things I was kind of saying is it would be nice to have like a, a button to swap to left-handed mode. There might be one. I haven't actually looked. I should probably look. Uh, options. Control. Toggle washer. No, there's the aim mode. And there's the equipment. General. Field of view. Yeah, there's no like right handed, left handed mode. Which is a bit, yeah, a bit of a shame. Because, you know, about 25% of the population is left handed. So. Struggling to see which bits of this railing are not done. Ah, oh, well, here's some.
so I can only use the basic nozzle. Uh, not the basic nozzle, the basic washer. And I'm, yeah, not using soap. That's just my own, like, addendum onto that. Uh, this, this is a purely a personal challenge. Because last time when I was playing this, I saved up and rushed getting the, uh, the best washer as soon as possible just to make it easier on myself. So this time I'm playing through it intentionally making it harder on myself because you know, why not? <laughs> There's some little bits that I need to snipe along here. I feel that I must be missing something actually fairly significant on these railings. But I'm just not entirely sure where. It'll be the underside of something. I think I just need to leave that till last. I'm fixating too much on those railing bits. And I should just finish off the rest. There we go. Wooden trim. Let's just get some dings going again, huh? You left handed? Yeah. yeah. It would would be nice if there was a left handed mode. I mean, if nothing else, I, I'm right handed, but I'm fairly sure I could hold this in my left hand just to get some trickier angles and stuff right. It just seems a, a reasonable thing. I don't know, maybe that's something that honestly could be made as an official suggestion, to be honest, because it feels just nice for accessibility. Do, 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 do. There, there. Okay. I mean, I've talked about my views on like value for money in terms of games before. Um, especially while playing like sort of the truck sim games and stuff because people have raised the point there with like the map DLCs when they come out and what their price point is in comparison to the main game and it's different for every game and it's different for every person in terms of like what you consider to be good value for me if I get an hour's worth of gameplay out of something that costs me like ten dollars I consider that good value like that's kind of what i expect uh anything beyond that is gravy essentially and if it's a game that i like enough to want to do any level of challenge run or speed run or anything like that then obviously that's just going to count even better because you just naturally get a lot more time spent playing the game out of it that way. So let's just tab this a bit. So pressing tab allows you to see little bits that the game thinks you haven't cleaned. But some of these are really... Okay, there's just some light shadowing in these bits here. Now this bit's behind the gutter. That doesn't help. Yeah, it's just lots of little bits around here. And boy, are these stains stubborn. Oh, I haven't done the underside of this bit properly. Mostly because of the angle. It is just so close to going ding, I know it. I seem to remember actually struggling with these even last time, even with a better washer. Just, it's it's less about the washer and the ability to clean it, and more about just the ability to reach the bits that need cleaning. <laughs> and you just need to start chipping away at some of these easier to get ones instead, I think. It's weird because there's been other bits that have been really generous in terms of there's been real obvious stains. There we go. Got there in the end. It's been super obvious stains and it's given it to me. And then there's ones like that where the stains are actually really hard to see, but it just doesn't give it to you. This wooden trim. Oh, I haven't even done the underside of this one. Oops. There you go. Or that one. 
and probably all this one to be honest nobody would be this picky in real life that that's also true <laughs> yeah one hour per one dollar to be good value you are very demanding sir <laughs> you are extremely demanding <laughs> one hour for a dollar wow uh, so you don't go to the movies then or or watch shows online presumably i can only assume that you do none of those things you don't have like a, a drink out with friends or anything that, that costs like 10 20 dollars for a drink you don't go out for dinner at all going out for dinner costs like 40 50 dollars for an hour you know <laughs> the movies are different no they're not M movies are not different if anything movies are less because like i expect a lot more value from a movie because all i'm doing is sitting there i'm not engaging with it i can't play it again so like i have to pay to see a movie again unless i buy it on dvd obviously or something but it, it's not different it's entertainment that playing a game is entertainment and like entertainment versus entertainment it's like well uh, i'm either going out and doing something or i'm staying at home and doing something and yeah uh, like, what price do you put on the entertainment is basically what it comes down to and yeah going out and seeing a movie or just renting a movie online or whatever you know it's it's equivalent it's it's what are you spending your time on is what it comes down to right because you know that is what is being quantified is how much time am i getting out of it and what the feedback is from that time as well a game you can come back and play a lot <laughs> it's a hundred dollars for a game you expect to play at least 50 hours you feel like you've overpaid yeah so again that's extremely demanding <laughs> i'm sorry but to me to me again it's very subjective but to me that's extremely demanding like uh any console game is like a hundred dollars right if you have like i've got a switch if i wanted to buy another game it's like 80 90 dollars expecting 50 hours from like a pokemon game or something is ambitious to say the least um yeah they're like 20 dollars to go bowling for an hour i mean yeah exactly so <laughs> so where's the equivalence there right because bowl that's a one and done thing you can't come back and do that again it's a it's a i pay 20 dollars every single time you know it's so you're very less demanding when it comes to that in other words it again it's just, i find it very interesting because i've had this conversation with quite a few people online before in terms of different games and different uh, monetizations and stuff like that and yeah it's interesting different different people's perspectives on it obviously if money is tight then you're going to value it a lot more that's perfectly fair enough but my point is more like it it's equivalent in terms of how you spend that money like i know people who will spend 50 60 dollars just on a night out in the town and then they barely remember half of it because they were drunk so that's not good value <laughs> that's not good value at all anyway um time lapse see now this is good value this is the good stuff I would like to be able to save this as a gif or something but 